I'm not a huge fan of this man, but I want my vote on this one. Um, I listened to it a few days ago, um, working out in the gym, and I specifically want to talk about this song here uh, briefly. Now, I'm, I'm a little more into the situation a little bit. I don't know the whole story, but I just know a little bit of it. And if you guys like any hip-hop themes or all that stuff, man, you can kind of comment on this section here. But uh, so 1985, man, uh, I guess it was a song um, dissing a little Pump or just giving Lil Pump more advice. I mean, I, I really never heard of a distinctive diss song but gave advice to an individual. Like, he didn't really dog him but he talked about his insecurities and the things that he's going wrong and doing on the wrong, wrong path financially and his career wise and that he can build himself up if he take him to these practices and based on off you know jay cole talking about his experience you know listen you know i was young when i was your age you know just partying and throwing money in the club and not you know just taking care of my financial responsibilities but, and then too, you know, because I guess Little Pump at the particular time last year, he made um, a song about him. I guess it was a troll song. It was nothing to take any taken serious. But, you know, J. Cole responded at the last minute. And not only that, he addressed the situation in a positive manner and no curse words or anything, you know, but it was more of that that 444 feel, you know, when uh, Jay-Z in a particular time, he said, listen, you know, um, do not die over the, uh, the, your neighborhood that your mama rented, you know, just use, you know, use your money, flip it, you know, and buy it. And, you know, to create financial wealth because, you know, forget, um, what, is, what is that, living rich and dying broke. That's just not cool, you know, and wealth is the ability to have so many, you got like revenues everywhere. You have money coming in so many places, 10, 20 streams of income, and your money's working for you while you're in your sleep. Rich, you just have a lot of money in that particular job or the particular, you know, career. And if that career stops, your money stops. You don't have anything really valuable invested in. So you just have a lot of stuff. You just have a lot of money. And it, it giving you a comfortable living for a short period of time. And I think this is what these top rappers are advocating. I believe you should advocate more than in hip hop because um, hip hop, you know, it's, it's everywhere. We listen to it, you know, especially it's predominantly in the black culture. Did a lot of research in, in the New York Times, but that's where it started over Grandmaster Flash, KRS One, you know, Nas was coming up too in the 90s. And this is more of an intellectual thing. But um, this song, man, it really kind of struck me. I really don't do too much uh, reviews on this on songs, particularly in a you know, on an album. I mean, this really stuck out to me. <laughs> this is really stays on repeat. But man, he he gave this young man a TED talk, but didn't tell him, listen, man, you know, if you go keep going down on this wrong path, man, you're gonna be on loving hip hop in five years, and you know, you're just doing things in trend. You want to do something that stands out, something that's. Um, pretty much that's going to have longevity and a lot of these rappers out here and you know the mama rappers they're doing things that's trending but you gotta understand with trends is temporary every day it can be a new trend you know then they're going to the next one the next one you don't want to be a one-hit wonder if you're coming into a working or a career or industry if you want to be great you have to do things that's that people are going to be remembering you of you know, something that's great, something that's that's impactful and I will never forget what Denzel Washington was specifically saying in one of a, a college setting, I believe he was in one of the college that he got kicked out of or for academic probation. He said, like, listen, you know, it's not about the money you have. It's all about, you know, the things that you do and your talents and your skills you use to develop other people in your craft to impact others. You know, it's all your success depends on how many people you impact for the most part. And, you know, it really... It really made me think about a lot of things, you know, to put things in different perspectives in life. But yeah, man, uh, this song was um, it was really cool. I mean, I downloaded it on Apple Music. Go ahead and check it out. J. Cole, man, K.O.D. album is pretty fire. Uh, I actually enjoyed it. And um, I mean, it, it's it's good. It's good. It was really better to me personally than For Your Eyes Only. Okay. Um, you now that, that album was a, was a little downfall for me. I didn't really care for it. <laughs> I, didn't, I was just like, oh God. And I'm not a huge fan. But people say, oh, you're sleeping on J. Cole. But man, this guy has a lot of talent, man. And I think he subconsciously wants the youth to get better. You know, um, you know, this is all, forget all of this, you know, just get into the game, just, just to have your name up, have all the best Instagram followers, all the Twitter followers, and 
people following you on Facebook, oh, you the man, but behind closed doors, you know, you have nothing saved or you have nothing to show for, uh, nothing to uh, pass down to your kids. That's what a lot matters, man. And um, I was watching a Vlad TV interview with Lil Durk, and he said he's, he had his own trucking company business, man, in real estate. And a um, nice Chicago rapper moved from Chicago to Atlanta. So, I mean, you know, these are the things that you have to do, man. And that's why I was reading the stock market for me personally and learn how money works. Listen to Dave Ramsey, uh, setting it aside the time you get paid, put 10% of that money into a savings fund or just, you know, a cash, which you are from an ATM and just put it up, you know, and not only for emergencies, but it's just, you don't want to have different investments, you know, use your money, because you understand that money, all that stuff, it's not going to, it comes and go, but, you know, if you have one source of income, it's really not going to last forever, and I think that's what he was constituting in the music industry, it's more than all the cars, the clothes, and all that, and most of those rappers don't even have it, they just rented it, and I was thinking about Bow Wow's situation, you know, I mean, when he was on BET, he should be touring, he had all that money, he was a childhood star, and he kind of went to a financial turmoil, because, you know, all the stuff that he rented, he had to pay it back, and uh, he, he was broke. But yeah, man, this is, uh, I guess, a little financial literacy song. Uh, I mean, I know we hear this all the time, but this was, uh, this was really thought out. Uh, J. Cole, salute to you, man. Um, the Red Collar, man, you did a pretty good job with this. And this is my thoughts on it, man. But this is your boy, Young Link Jr. If you guys like that album, man, comment, subscribe. What, you, what is one of your favorite songs? We have a discussion on this. I love you guys. I'm out. Have a good day. Deuces.